is scrubbing hateful comments directed at Lizzo from their social media platforms. And some people are even getting their accounts removed. According to sources at Facebook, the company has already removed a number of comments that were left on her Facebook and Instagram posts, and they'll continue rev reviewing reports of hateful comments. So what about the rest of us? That's I'm what I'm saying. Lizzo. Can <laughs> Facebook and <laughs> Instagram do that for me, too? Don't do us like this. You're treating us like Joe Biden, treating the American troops that's still on the ground in Afghanistan. What? What about us? But they have been trying to come harder for people who are doing any type of violation of community guidelines around hate speech, around harassment, around bullying. So you see now, like, if you block somebody, it'll also block any other accounts that they try to make after that. So if they mm. use... Yeah, so, I see that. Yeah, so they're trying to do different things, so... They ain't stopping fake pages that keep popping up on yeah, that. Yeah, that's those annoying. Is hate speech bots. based off how we react to it, though? Really? Meaning, like, if Lizzo had never said anything, would they even think that Lizzo was bothered by these comments? So is hate speech based off what how we react to something? I mean, I think there's also keywords that you can target and see, you know, what people are saying. But, yeah, I mean, you know, she she's getting a lot of fat phobic comments, she said. People making comments about her weight, her physical appearance, what she's wearing, all of those things. So mm. I do feel like it is a Instagram is something that you voluntarily sign up for. So that is true. they have the right to remove you if they so choose. It's you know I, I get it. People talk about freedom of speech, but it is a privately owned platform.